Louise here and welcome to Naturopathic Massage. So today I'm just going to take you through some basic um, massage techniques for the feet. But first of all, we're just going to soak our feet in some Epsom salts. And usually we would do this for about 10, 10 to 15 minutes in lukewarm water. You can use a small bucket like I'm using, or you could use a larger bucket, or you could have a whole bath. So once we've soaked our feet for 10 minutes, and this is to allow the magnesium into our muscles, and it helps alleviate any pain. So I'm just gonna dry, dry off. So what I want to talk today also is when we're massaging, is don't put anything on the skin that you wouldn't eat. So sometimes, Massage oils um, aren't quite natural, so you can use things at home like olive oil, like grapeseed oil, vegetable oil if you don't have anything else. You can use things like shea nut butter, um, coconut butter, that sort of thing. I use um, my lymphatic cream and I also use my almond um, kernel oil, oil in the clinic as well. So basically, um, we can use also some essential um, oils as well. So for feet, I like to use things like peppermint, um, like spearmint, um, spike lavender is a really nice one, and they can be quite stimulating for the feet. So what I also want you to be aware of is some people can't bend as much as I can. So having a little footstool in front, so something about this high, that you can actually reach down to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my um, lymphatic cream first. I've taken off my jewelry, just makes it a little bit easier. And I just rub the cream in to my feet. I'm just gonna pull my tights up a little bit for you. So basically we smooth that cream around our feet and just a, in a nice gentle smooth fashion, making sure that we can get to the toes. So where we're going to start is in the ball of our foot. So if you scrunched your toes, it's right in the center, so right here. So I want you to put your thumb into that and we're going to do round circles. So I'll turn around for you so you can see what I'm doing. So we're going to roll our fingers round in this spot. So this helps loosen up any tight fascia in between the toes. It's also a kidney point, so it's where kidney one starts. And so this is a lot about life force. So we can you get in there and use both hands and to massage round and round in this spot. Another thing we can do is we can come up into that toe joint and up over the top of the toe. So basically follow the darker red um, line as it across. We're going to place our thumb there and we're going to go up and round. So I want you to go around three times. Two, three. And we do that with each toe. One, two, three. Next toe. One, two, three. Next one. One, two, three. Now I'm going to swap hands because I find it easier to go around my big toe with my left hand, I go around the pad and up to the top of the toe. Now the reason we do it three times is three times is very calming to our nervous system. So in threes, if we do everything in threes, our body knows what to expect. So we find it very, very comforting. So the next we can do is we can come from the bottom of the heel on the outside of the foot and we come up. And we're just going to do threes again. Two, Three. We're going to come through the heel, more up the centre. We're going to do that three times as well. Okay, and then following the outside of the heel, the inside of the heel, up through the arch and to the big toe. I'm just going to swap hands because it's easier. There we go. Okay, so just got face on. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to do the same on the front of the foot. So we're going to come down. This is liver. And this can be nice and stimulating if we've got headaches, if we've got pain in our big toe. But it's also about stimulating lymphatic flow 
as much as it is stimulating our liver. Alright, we come down. So in reflexology, the top of the foot has all got to do with our lymphatic system and our chest and breast area. So it's a nice way to stimulate all of that. And pretty much you can do any movement that feels comfortable. So then we're going to come in to the inside of the heel. So we have some beautiful kidney points in through here. So we're just going to go around the base of the heel at the moment. And we're just going to run across to the start of the arch and then come just up underneath the, um, and the malleolus. So that's your ankle bone and then come back out to the Achilles. Now we're just going to slide our fingers up and down our Achilles because we hold a lot of pain and a lot of tension in our Achilles here. So it's really nice to get in with both hands and slide down the inside of our Achilles and up as well. So in the long run we're always going to be moving towards our heart, so towards the upper part of our body. So we just rub. And if you ever feel it, you're just using two hands and rubbing those both hands over top and bottom of the foot. And doing that three times too can also help. Remember we're trying to relax the body here, but also massage the feet. So you come back in and you can get stuck into the arch of the foot again. And really give that arch, because I know so many people hold tension in their arches. They also hold so much tension in the feet, especially if you're someone who's been standing on their feet all day. Another really good thing to be able to do is if you've got a rolling pin or you've got a frozen bowl of water and you put that on your floor next to the bed and every night you sit there and you roll that rolling pin up and down. And what that does is it helps stretch out the plantar fascia, especially if you get fascia fat fascia plantar itis. So it also helps relax and get you ready for bed to take some of that tension out of your feet. So you could also do that in the mornings um, to be able to stand and walk because I have a lot who have a lot of difficulty getting out of bed in the morning because their feet hurt so much. So by rolling your feet on that hard surface on that rolling pin or drink bottle or you massage it like I'm doing, you actually will be able to get up and walk straight away. Okay guys, hopefully you've really enjoyed this. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and we will do another body part tomorrow. Thank you very much and have a fantastic